What's up everyone, Sam here. Today's wine text, what everyone's been asking about, what everyone's waiting for. It's the end of the year and it's champagne season. Today is the Maison Gardet Champagne Premier Cru Brut Reserve uh, from the Chenille La Rosas, which is a very small appellation within Champagne. Uh, Maison Gardet is uh, just over about 120 years old. They were established in 1895 uh, by basically a local shopkeeper that wanted to expand and get into some other businesses, a little bit of that entrepreneurship, uh, and started his own winery in the Epernay. Uh, after the Epernay started growing and more people were going into that area, he went to a different part, which is where, where he ended up in uh, Chenille La Rose. Uh, where they built a, a way more modern uh, style winery and tried to keep up with the more modern style wines. Uh, what they're most known for is making super classical champagnes using modern technology to keep them in that old world style uh, and that really kind of um, savory, full bodied, uh, full flavorful style champagnes. Uh, I know this got 92 points from the wine enthusiast, which is awesome. Uh, champagne, the price for selling this is nearly unheard of to get scores of like that. Uh, and yeah, I kind of want to just dive into it. So this is uh, three grapes equally, the three classic grapes of Champagne, Chardonnay, Pinot Meunier, uh, and Pinot Noir. It's completely white. Uh, it's going to be because of that kind of two thirds being red wine grapes, even though it is white and the skin contact's not there, it's going to be a pretty full bodied Champagne. Um, I think the acidity level is going to be insanely high, which is naturally with Champagne, uh, which makes it good to go with things like sushi, raw fish, oysters, all that world. But champagne itself, the sneaky part about champagne is the acidity level is so high that it can also go with red meats, prosciuttos, I mean ribeye steaks, you name it. Champagne can pretty much go with everything. Uh, we used to call it in restaurants the cheater wine because people would sit down, six people would order something, and they'd say, we need a bottle of wine for all six of us. Some people have fish, some people have meat. The easy way to go, a bottle of champagne will make everyone happy. Um, again, this time of year, Best time for sparkling wine. I don't think there's a smile on, or not a smile on anyone's face when you hear the pop up of a bottle of champagne. On the nose, it's pretty expected. Uh, you get a little bit of that kind of golden apple, a little bit of that stone fruit, but a heavy dose of that brioche butter, uh, kind of like fresh cream, a uh, little bit of uh, almost like a vanilla cake thing going on. But definitely like a pretty high strung chalky minerality, which is pretty natural in champagne. I just, champagne is my favorite wine in the world. I hate to spit it out. But really tight bubbles, different from Prosecco and other sparkling wines. Bounces all over the palate. I can barely talk because my mouth is watering so much from the acidity. But super classic, really savory, earthy, brioche, toasty style champagne. I think anybody who drinks things like Vuvuco, Moet Chendon, you'll be blown away by this wine. It really over delivers. I think some of those wines can be a little bit linear. This is much more of a body style champagne. Really excited to bring it to you. Uh, definitely a wine we can get to you before the New Year's. Be able to enjoy it with all your friends uh, at an extremely reasonable price for proper champagne. Enjoy.